and we want everybody to have an equal playing field and that's what we're looking for. We, we can't compete with the, in any of our commodities with these foreign prices. Your favorite Arkansas catch could be seeing some choppy water soon. A tariff protecting U.S. catfish farmers from foreign frozen fish flooding the market is on its way out. Neil Zerang knows all about what this could mean for prices and competition. So Neil, what stands out to you? How impactful the preliminary decision by the U.S. Department of Commerce would be. The tariff would be reduced by 94 percent, opening things wide open for Vietnamese imports after a catfish war dating back to the turn of the century. The birth state of warm water aquaculture is still standing strong after seven years, but those in the largest component of the industry, catfish, can tell you it's seen better times. We went from a 600 plus million industry to a 300 million pound industry. So all of that happened when these imports came in. Imports of Vietnamese frozen fish started eating market share at the turn of the century, shrinking farms like Brad Graham's. A lawsuit in 2003 by catfish farmers ended with the government agreeing that Vietnamese import prices were so low to drive American producers out. And they're winning at it. A tariff at $2.39 a kilogram helped keep American prices competitive for decades. But this year, the Department of Commerce made a preliminary decision to reduce the tax to just 14 cents. You have some that want only U.S. product, and then you have some that are shopping for price. And we can't compete with price. Senders from four states, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi, are urging the decision be reversed. Wednesday, Arkansas Senator John Bozeman said, quote, we're experiencing a record agriculture trade deficit as a result of the Biden administration's unwillingness to engage in strike fair trade deals, end quote. I emailed then called the Department of Commerce for comment, but after 24 hours, I have not received a response. I guess you'd say it's kind of heartbreaking. Nothing has happened yet as a result of the senator's letter, I'm told. Now, Arkansas is third in the nation for catfish production and pretty high for consumption, too. It generates over $20 million in sales for the state every year. Niels Rang, Karakay 4 News.